Hey guys, Dwayne here. I'm going to tell you a story, but before we get started, I want to put up a disclaimer. All right. The things that happen in this story are kind of stupid, very dangerous, and kind of illegal. All right. So I'm not suggesting you try any of these things. In fact, I'm strongly suggesting you do not do some of the things I've done. All right. And also because the story is somewhat illegal of uh, what happened, I'm not going to tell you exactly when or where it happened, but trust me, it did happen and it was decades ago. So here we go. My brother and I had been experimenting with homemade fireworks. Basically, we would just take any old kind of container that we could find, fill it with gunpowder, stick a fuse in it, and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Thank God we were never seriously hurt by any of our homemade fireworks. But some of them work out really cool. Cool. You know, you got a nice boom, maybe some smoke. Uh, some of them were duds, some of them just weren't that cool. But anyway, on this particular night, we had a bunch of small homemade firecrackers ready to go. And also one big one. I think it was a pickle jar, but I'm not positive. It's been so long ago. So anyway, we had these little homemade firecrackers and the one big one we called it the grand finale <laughs> and we were very excited to try them out so late at night we waited until our parents went to bed and we snuck out of the house with our homemade fireworks went down to the creek which was a few blocks away and it was it was still in the neighborhood but no houses were really close by it was it was kind of off uh, and then on the other side of the creek, there was a field and seemed like a safe place to test <laughs> some of these things. So we're out there lighting our little homemade firecrackers, light the fuse, throw it, boom, yeah, cool, high five, yeah, light another one, light the fuse, throw it, boom, yeah, that was cool, all right, do another one. <clears throat> And eventually we ran out of the small ones, and it was time to head back home. But first, the grand finale. <laughs> we were really excited to try this big firecracker that we had made. Um, because it was so big, we had never made one that big before. <clears throat> we put a long fuse on it, about a one-minute fuse. And it was waterproof fuse, so we lit it, threw it in the creek, and ran and took cover like a hundred feet away and because we wanted to see what happened. <laughs> so we're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and uh, just, just about the time I said something like, oh man, it's a dud. Just as I said that, kaboom! <laughs> Oh man, it was it was freaking awesome. Water went up. Whoosh. It was loud. It was like the loudest thunderclap you ever heard. It was awesome. We're like, yeah, we're all jazzed. We're like, let's go see if we can find any remains for a souvenir. All right, so we went down to the creek. We're looking for like pieces of glass or the metal lid would have been really cool. Let's see what was left of that didn't really find anything and so we were thinking about heading home and off in the distance you could see a police car with the blue lights flashing going down the road and then there was another one and another one and another one I'm like what in the world is going on and then they turned and they seemed to be getting closer we're like that's weird and then we heard 
Dude, there's a helicopter. Dude, they're looking for us. Run! <laughs> well, the thing you should know about helicopters is you cannot outrun a helicopter. But if it's nighttime and they were using a big old spotlight covering the ground in a zigzag pattern, uh, under those conditions, you can hide from a helicopter fairly easy, okay? But the police cars were coming, several police cars, flashing lights, getting closer, closer. The helicopter is trying to flash its big old spotlight. At one point, we were underneath a pine tree, like this, and the light went right over the tree, but they couldn't see us because we were in the shadows. And then it kept going and the helicopter moved away from us and they were like searching the field and the police cars were getting closer and closer so we took off running home as fast as we could faster <laughs> police cars started uh, coming to a stop converging near the stream as we got home, opened the door, closed the door quietly, locked the door, kept the lights off, hid, peeked, peeked out the windows. <laughs> they never caught us. They never caught us. <laughs> and we were minors, so I don't know how much trouble we were, really would have gotten in, but you don't want to go down that road. <laughs> you don't want something like that on your record. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, that was, was my uh, helicopter story. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Peace.